Good day everyone, I'm Otto Harrikari, the team leader of uh, Team Albatros and this will be a presentation of about the design and manufacturing process of the Blended Win 3.7 concept. And here you can see our team. I am the guy on the lower right corner. And this is obviously the time of the coronavirus because we all have our masks on. Uh, but about the team, we are all students of Tampere University, which is a university in central Finland. Our team composition has changed a little bit during the competition because of the elongation of the competition. Our team is divided into groups. Uh, the groups are aerodynamics, structural design, techniques, building, promotion and finance. And we had to merge a little of those groups together uh, because of the changes in the composition of our team. In this slide we have some better pictures without the masks of our individuals. So I'm the one on the left upper corner, I'm the team leader. Uh, of the team Albatros. I have background in mechanical engineering uh, and I may not minoring in aeronautical engineering. Um, in our university we also always have to take, if we want to take aeronautical engineering, we have to take mechanical engineering as a major in bachelor space and then uh, we can, can take the minor in aeronautical engineering and in the master's phase we can major in aeronautical engineering. Uh, so that's my uh, background. Uh, mechanical engineering and minor in aeronautical engineering. Uh, I'm an experienced aviator and an airline pilot and I haven't built model airplanes before this competition. Then we have uh, Sami who uh, are responsible for the finance of the team. Uh, he's an automated engineering studi student and um, in con contrast to me, he is an experienced model aircraft building and he, he also participated in Aircraft Code Challenge uh, 2019. Then on the lower lower left corner we have Axeli. Uh, he's soon graduating in the aeronautical engineering in major. Uh, so he's uh, graduating from the master's, master's uh, phase. And Axeli is the responsible for the aerodynamic design of the aircraft and we can uh, perhaps say that Axeli has done all the aerodynamic design of the of the aircraft so he played uh, or he is playing a very big role in the team. Uh, Axeli hasn't built airplanes or uh, model airplanes before and he's an enthusiastic and expert aircraft designer and has worked in uh, uh, in companies as an aircraft engineer. Arob is uh, or has the same background as I have and he's continuing to the masters in aeronautical engineering. Uh, he's uh, responsible of promotion in our team and also commercial pilot and flight instructor currently working as one right now. Uh, he hasn't built more airplanes before. Right, in this slide, on the left upper corner, there is Yoga, who also has quite of the same background as I and Aro have. He's a mechanical engineering student with minor in aeronautical engineering, and he's also beginning masters in aeronaut aeronautical engineering in Tampere University. Uh, he hasn't built much model airplanes before, but he is a very experienced simulation software developer and also a general aviation pilot. Then on the upper right corner, there is our pilot uh, for the competition, Lauri. Lauri is an electrical engineering student and he is responsible for aircraft building. And I believe that he is actually currently uh, building the aircraft as I prepare the slides here. Uh, he is very experienced in model aircraft building and piloting and he also participated in a cargo challenge 2019. On the lower left corner that is Juho. Uh, Juho is soon graduating uh, from the aeronautical engineering field as a master 
and he is an experienced model aircraft builder and he participated uh, the aircraft air cargo challenge 2019 as well all right next we'll go to the business uh, i will explain the blended wing 3.7 concept and i'll try to give you an overall picture of the cons concept even though we could go into detail but that would uh, quite uh, take quite a lot of time uh, but as you can see the concept is not conventional uh, it's a blended wing type design with an inverted v-tail the v-tail is right by it there but you can see it in other pictures um, the concept has webbed wings and the wings and the body and the tail they follow standard NACA profiles and as you can see there is a pusher model motor uh, propelling the aircraft forward we started playing with uh, different concepts with open vsp and that's what we uh, used for the whole aerodynamic design of the concept we played with uh, various alternative uh, concepts and this was the one that we ended up with the, the blended wing concert with the inverted uh, v-tail we had very uh, similar readings from other concepts as well but we decided uh, just for interest uh, to build this one because this was something that very many hadn't built before and it uh, sounded interesting uh, the final design of the concept uh, is a result of countless iterations so we uh, until until the building phase we iterated the concept of forward aerodynamically in this slide i'll explain how we constructed the body of the aircraft as you can see the body is made of carbon fiber that is reinforced with plywood ribs uh, first, to create the body, we extracted uh, uh, plywood profiles from the cut file and we used the profiles to cut the foam body that is on the right, right picture. Um, the carbon fibre was then laminated on the surface of the foam body to get the end result. Uh, we modelled the interior of the aircraft with Siemens NX however uh, we decided not to use all the ribs that we designed uh, designed because we thought that the richness is good enough for our aircraft without the ribs the construction of the wings and the tail was conducted in a conventional way uh, the wings are made of balsa wood that we reinforced with a carbon fiber spar that you can see on the left picture and for the tail we used foam that we covered with balsa wood as other approaches this project has some difficulties as well uh, the most of most of the difficulties were because of the elongation of the competition as our team changed and uh, after we heard that the event will be postponed we had some difficulties uh, to orientate uh, to the competition afterwards uh, after we decided to have a short break during the summer 2021 uh, then other difficulties uh, were because of design softwares uh, we decided to use a new software because we heard that it will be used in in aviation industry but it caused us to delay quite a lot and we had some lack of motivation meanwhile as we didn't proceed uh, process with with the designing of the concept then we had a bottleneck when we decided to build a hot wire cutter which we used to cut the foam and there were some uh, hot wire cutters available but, but as one of our members was building already one then we decided to continue to use that one uh, but that had a short delay uh, then the, for the design the swept wings caused a little bit of trouble when we uh, had to build them um, 
put the put the wings together as the uh, as the carbon tubes couldn't connect inside the aircraft. Actually, on the ro on the right right uh, picture, that is Lowry uh, presenting the concept for the for, for the wing box. As you see, the tubes are not inter connected but they are inside a box of plywood which which was filled with balsa and then reinforced with carbon fiber uh, so it added uh, some extra weight as well uh, the sweat wing also caused some difficulties in the CG determination and uh, one of the difficulties were the design of the body when we decided to use the carbon sheets to cover the body and the carbon sheets were uh, laminated straight away to the foam so that it was just one one uh, big carbon sheet so we had to put all the interior inside of that uh, in uh, uh, through through the uh, trailing edge and about the lessons learned uh, after the break I should have scheduled the competition better and shared my thoughts probably I had some thoughts about the schedule but I realized that I didn't have everyone else on the same page with me. And then one thing that I should have, or we should have emphasized more is that participation requires attendance. So if you participate in the team, uh, you should attend the things, even though this is voluntary thing, the voluntary competition. And then about the design, um, we decided to do the under conventional design. And it surely had its challenges, as we, uh, as I explained uh, previously. Uh, but in my opinion, and in everyone else's opinion, creating creating the unconventional design was rewarding, but it was time consuming because there wasn't so much information how to build an aircraft like this. Um, after all, as I said, we. Uh, Possibly didn't have everyone on the same page with the schedule. Uh, it made us to have a bit of a tight schedule, so uh, we had to do some compromises to the design. Uh, we couldn't optimize that so much as we wanted. But with the lessons learned, we can go on forward to the following competitions with uh, with this information that we have and probably it will result in better, better organization and better concept but thank you for your interest and enjoy the proof of flight video <laughs>